Hey, what's going on YouTube? Hey, thanks for tuning in to today's video. It's really nice to see you and I appreciate you stopping by. Um, in today's video, we're gonna go through an unboxing experience. Oh, by the way, you've tuned in to, uh, thanks for tuning in to Adventuring Art. Uh, this is a community of 35 people, 35 subscribers. So thanks everyone for subscribing and liking and all the comments that I've been getting. It's been great. I really appreciate it and uh, enjoying you, enjoying the interactions with you. This has been um, just a really great experience so far and I'm looking forward to pumping out some more content and uh, really engaging with everyone um, here in the near future. But with that said, uh, I'd love to go ahead and get into today's topic. Uh, so. Today, we're going to do sort of a, I feel it's gonna be a quick video, rather. Um, it's an unboxing experience with my new e-bike. It's made by a company called Espen. It's the Espen Sport. They have uh, several models on their website. Um, I actually paid cash for this bike. This is a, something that I saw a review for and it looked really interesting and the guy that, I, that reviewed it had a, a fantastic review and he's continuing to join it really likes it so i said what the heck i'll give it a shot they have a really good return policy i hear great reviews about their service department and um yeah so i went ahead and ordered the espen sport it took a little while about three weeks for them to finally ship it three to four weeks ish they uh over promised uh, they under promised and over delivered so they said it was going to be mid-february and it got here at the end of january so uh it was amazing so i'm very very thankful to espen uh so just above and beyond i appreciate their the company and i love the quality of their product um, i've had an e-bike before in the past it was actually an e-trike um i didn't have a favorable experience with that uh with that trike itself but that's not to say this is this this is going to be the same thing. So I came in this with a fresh perspective. Um, I'm kind of a heavier guy, you know. So this has this I do fall in with on the upper end of their weight schedule, but for having a 500 watt motor, um, I'm able to you know at my heavy weight hopping on the bike and using the pedal assist, uh, it it just propels me for it. Just I just zipper along, going almost uh, the fast I've got it is just under 30 miles an hour. Uh, on a somewhat of a decline uh, on a on the flat straightaway 20 to 22 miles uh, I feel I can easily get 30 miles of range on it um, the shocks on the front are super smooth uh, very they absorb the bumps well um, so so yeah overall I'm very very pleased I'm very excited about the the e-bike and um, I've been riding it almost non-stop I've got over 50 I'm a little bit over 50 miles right now so in the less than a week that I've had it I've just been racking up the miles on it so just really really enjoying it driving around the neighborhood driving around parks driving downtown in Fort Worth uh, so yeah I'd love to share that experience with you so today uh, I'm gonna go on a little drive um, in the neighborhood and I'll film some some footage there um, I uh, also uh, we'll be in downtown Fort Worth a little bit, so I'll film some scenes in that area so you'll get to see a little bit what the Trinity River looks like and the bike trails that are around that area, even see City Hall maybe from a distance. Um, and uh, yeah, so hope you enjoy the video. Uh, make sure you again co like, comment, and subscribe as always. I appreciate that. And uh, we'd love to have more subscribers so yeah, we can continue uh, growing this channel and this community of adventurers. So thanks for tagging along, and I hope you enjoy the the adventure today. See you soon.
the clock tower. This is the beautiful Trinity River. <laughs> How beautiful, but it's um, green and murky looking. <clears throat> Here we are downtown Fort Worth. You can see the skyline up above. I zoom in here. That right there is the courthouse. And I'm on the, uh, which is probably the northwest side of downtown. And um, I'm parked way back over there. And I am riding the new Espen e bike. So this is the e bike. Um, it has front shocks, it's got a head, headlight mount. It's all, it's a lithium ion battery propelled. Here's the battery housing, which you see right here. Uh, here's your battery indicator telling you how much battery you have left. Blue is low, or high, full. Um, green and then red. So green would be medium. Um, this is a full tilt handlebar, so it'll come back and forth, as well as uh, you get your seat here with your quick release uh, option here. This is your rear cargo area. You can put some saddlebags if you want to put back there. And uh, this is the 500 watt motor. Uh, I'm not sure if it's a Baofeng motor. I know the, um, the yeah, it is a Baofeng. Uh, the brakes, or the, sorry, the uh, gear assembly is an eight speed. There are eight cogs on the Shimano, um, whatever they call this, the uh, shifter. Um, looking at the bike kind of coming down the middle here, uh, here at the top, you've got a power on. If you press and hold here, it'll turn the unit on. This changes the gear, so I'm now in second, third, fourth, third, second, one. I've got a full battery. Uh, I've driven already about seven to eight miles on it, and I am in eighth gear starting off. This is a throttle assist. That right there will actually make the bike take off and start riding on its own. If I start pedaling uh, the bike in first gear, once after like one or two revolutions, it'll actually start assisting me some. It, um, I can always take it down to level zero, which is just me propelling the bike all on my own. Um, when I put it at one, it travels at about 10 to 11 miles an hour. It's, uh, it's enough to challenge you. So like if I put it in gear eight and at level one, I can actually use a lot of my own strength uh, propelling this, whereas, you know, it's it's giving me some momentum so that I'm going a little faster. However, it's probably 80% me when I'm on level one and I'm in eighth gear. So it just depends on what gear you're at and what speed you're at and what and what automated uh, uh, pedal assist you're using. So pretty cool all in all. I'm really impressed with it so far. Uh, it's, it's kind of cool and quirky. I mean, you can see here from the back, you got this little very bright brake light as well. And uh, yeah, so there you have it, the Espen Sport e-bike. I went with the all black color because I wanted to not make it conspicuous that it is an e-bike. This battery pops out, which is actually stored in the uh, housing of the unit itself. But um, yeah, so that is about it. So just wanted to introduce to you the new Espen e-bike. So I found this nifty, I found this nifty little trail that kind of diverts off the main trail and you kind of cut back and it goes all the way down here to the river. Just a dreary, cloudy, misty, kind of weird day. so far away, Mr. Espen. If you were ever wanting a bottle to hold your water, I've got tons of them right here. Just let me know. I'll send you one in the mail. But no, but seriously, this is a neat little area. I was looking at that little, little chute that goes through there for a canoe or a kayak. That would be pretty cool. We don't get a lot of rapids in the Dallas-Fort Worth area, so having a little area that 
get your heart pumping uh, is definitely kind of exciting, especially on these like lazy rivers. But, uh, but yeah, so just figure I should have done. Using this credit card machine over here, you pay for your bike. It tells you what the cost is. It's eight hours, eight dollars for 24 hour access. And then it's like four dollars after that. Max cost $36 per bike. So uh, you can take a, an e-bike with you. Uh, these look like, I think they're e-bikes? No, these may be regular. So. But there you have it. Rent you a bike, cruise the towns. Very nice. Oh, and also here in this park, we've got, uh, looks like there's porta potties uh, that they have down in this area. And this one is empty. So maybe you can, you can just go inside there if no one's looking. <laughs> I did see one porta potty way on down the loop, way on down the way, but there you go. There they are. I know you're worried about it, so we found them. Five hours later. Hope you enjoyed today's video. Uh, be sure to like, comment, and subscribe down in the uh, comment section, like section, whatever you know. Do all the YouTube-y type of things. But yeah, thanks for tuning in, and I can't wait to see you on the flip side.